Hi, I'm Darius Sadegian, Studio Director at Rocksteady Studios. Raider! The Suicide Squad gave us the scope, the narrative, the gameplay. Oh, really? And then the idea of being able to expand that, be able to take this further, it's going to feel completely fresh. Feel completely fresh. Feel completely fresh. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? In that spirit, we want to deliver, we want to deliver, we want to deliver totally new content at no cost for those who purchase Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. We wanted to have a game that was very focused, but this time we really want to expand out with being able to dynamically update, add new content, take on feedback, and evolve the game over time. <laughs> We're gonna give you the content you love. Wrong. Speaking of, what are you doing, mate? I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Suicide Squad, being a squad, felt like the right fit for the kind of game that we wanted to make. Are you sure about that? What do we think players will have fun with? the rival taunt system, where on the leaderboards, if you pass your friends or anyone on your friends list is also playing the game and you beat their score, when well, next time they log in, they'll get this kind of funny quiz just to show that, oh yeah, by the way, I beat you. You boot up the game, you're logging in, and then all of a sudden on your screen, you get Boomerang giving you the finger. Fuck you! I think fans are gonna have a great time with RMA system. Okay. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is gonna be one of the most generous, player-friendly, post-launch experiences available. Hey, hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one, this is a classic. When a player picks up Anthem, I want them to feel like they're a hero. And I want them to be able to do it easily. I don't want to put a lot of friction in the place where they have to, you know, find different people to play with and have different groups and timelines for them to play. I want them to be able to get into the game easily. How are you guys gonna pull this off? It's about focus. It's about focus. It's about having the right plan early enough. It's about making sure that, that you know what you're trying to build. We are focusing on a great cooperative experience. We're focusing on telling great story in a private hub. By doing that and creating focus, you can drive to excellence. The seasonal content gets automatically dropped into the game each episode. There's no playable content locked behind a battle pass, and the in-game shop is for cosmetics only. When season one launches this March, you'll be able to unlock a new playable character for your squad, the Joker. At least buy me dinner first. What the <laughs> fuck? Look at the mask, good my boy. But this is a new Elseworlds twist on the villain. Hey yo, what the fuck? He was part of the Suicide Squad in the Elseworld that he's from, which already shows that he's slightly more cooperative than the previous Joker we've had. But as you get used to him and actually play to him, you realize he's unhinged in a different way. If I could kill it, I would. But I legally can't. But I've considered it. Not only has he got to figure himself out, but he's figuring out his place in this new world and this new squad. I think we've taken him back to the kind of more vaudeville roots of Joker. He's masking insecurities with traditional Joker behavior. But deep down, he's not sure who he is yet. Lock him up. Oh, making new friends after a move is always tough. Knocking enemies out of the way. 
What's going on? That's <laughs> I'm kind of dead. Cut the show. I'm done. Take me off. Uh, take me off. Cut the show. I'm done. Okay, make that What the fuck is this piece of shit? Thank you.